Hey everyone, so I am back to remove more plants, unfortunately, in the garden. And today is especially sad because I am taking down my favorite part of the garden, which has been these five foot tall giant zinnias in the center raised bed right behind me. So I'll take you up close, I'll kind of show you why I'm going to pull them now, even though it's still, I think gonna be 70 for the next couple days, but they're looking pretty bad overall. Plus, I need to put some bulbs into the raised bed. So I'll take you up close, kind of show you how they're looking, and then we'll get to removing the giant zinnias. So here's what this center raised bed looks like now. These really were the centerpiece of the garden. I had no idea they were gonna get this tall. I think they're about a foot taller than the maximum on the package said. Um, and like I mentioned, we do still have a few warm days, but I need to get this whole bed empty and ready for tulip bulbs. I'm also going to be planting bulbs in that bed where I just recently removed the gomfrina. Uh, let me take you up a little bit closer and just kind of show you the status of the zinnias themselves. So you can see here, I mean, a lot of the lower leaves are brown and dead. The leaves that are still sort of green have brown spots and powdery mildew. So overall, I think it's just time to go, even though we still do have plenty of pretty bloom. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing is cut off all the flowers that still look good enough to use in a vase, and that'll be my official last zinni bouquet of the season. So here's what I got from the zinnias, the flowers that still look pretty good. Mostly I got red, red, <laughs> red and purple. I got one yellow. Uh, the four colors I had were red, purple, yellow, and orange. Uh, for some reason, the yellow ones were the first ones to go bad. Most of the blooms were already turning brown in the petals, uh, then the orange ones, but the purple and the red were still doing pretty well. So I think I'll definitely have enough to make one last zinnia bouquet here. So next, what I need to do before I start chopping down the entire plants are to pull these trailing plants that I have right here. So these are just some sweet potato vines that I got from a local gardener. I think I added them at the beginning of September um, just to get some more color when I pulled the super tunias. And they did grow quite a bit just over the last month and a half. Again, it's been abnormally warm. So that's definitely helped to extend the growing season a bit here. So I'm gonna get those pulled, same thing with the mums and then we'll get to chopping down these big boys.
So here is a look at the current chaos after removing the zinnias. I have a bunch of the branches here. I have the roots of the plants, which looks like there was only, let's see, one, two, three, four, five plants total in there, or maybe six. Um, oh, no, there's definitely six because there's still a root ball left here in this section that I think I'm just gonna have to rake through because the stem broke off when I was trying to pull the root ball out. So over here, we have more branches on top of the marigolds and gomfrina that I cut down and still need to get downstairs. And then there's a bunch of branches over there. I did leave the two marigolds in here for now, or not marigolds, the two mums in here for now because I feel kind of sad now that the bed is empty and they still look pretty good. I think they just started blooming a few days ago, maybe about a week ago. So I'm gonna keep them in here for now. Once I do start putting the bulbs in this bed, I will pull them, but I definitely need to rake through break up the roots, pull out any of the larger root clumps that I see so that the soil is ready for the bulbs. I've gone through and raked out all of the larger root balls from this raised bed and I just want to show you how loose the soil is now. So I went through and kind of dug and saw if there was anything that still had a big root ball that I removed, but for the most part the soil is still pretty nice and fluffy. You can see that even with pulling those plants and the root balls, I mean, those root balls are pretty big, the overall volume of the soil is only like, I don't know, I'd say three inches below the lip, so I'm not gonna have to add too much new soil. But the plan for now is I'm gonna put some compost onto this bed uh, just to get it ready for bulb planting. And I'm gonna do the same to this bed over here. Also, can you just see how much of a mess the garden is right now. I feel like when you're in that transition period of kind of putting the garden to bed for the season, it's just a complete mess for a few weeks until you get it all situated. So this is where I think I'm going to leave the video for today. If I was going to get the deck cleaned up today, I would show you that, but that's definitely not going to happen today. So um, I think I have a few more plants to pull for the year, but actually the majority of what is left right now on the deck are actually perennials. So I know I have to remove the dahlias. I will definitely show you that. I'm gonna be moving herbs inside and then I'm going to be overwintering the perennials out on the deck and I will take you along in a separate video and show you how I plan to do that. But thank you so much for following along today. Uh, it was definitely not always the happiest of videos to remove something that you truly loved, but it's to make room for more bulbs and something that I'll love next spring. So in the end, you know, it's just something that has to be done. So again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.